I wanted to talk about the Franklin Union scandal. Um, the Franklin Union scandal uh, happened in uh, 1988 and um, there are still people in prison for that who didn't do anything wrong and it's one of the things that was one of the more, more interesting things that I could find on the internet. Um, the Franklin Union was a credit institute, uh, a bank basically, um, from a man called Larry King. He was a black Republican and uh, he was basically Jeffrey Epstein before Jeffrey Epstein existed. Um, so there, there is this this uh, book that was written about the case, and the book is called uh, "The Franklin Union Cover Up" by Senator John De Camp. And De, De Camp is also an attorney, and um, he wrote this book, and it's it's unbelievable. Um, it was even in the Washington Post, so. Back then in 1988 or 1990, the Washington Post uh, wrote, uh, call boys get midnight tour through the White House. But it was, it was not really call boys, it was, it, the, these were underage uh, uh, minors. And um, one of the guys who talked uh, who gave a police statement about the credit union was a, a, a guy called Paul Bonacci and uh, Paul Bonacci said um, that they did snuff, uh, snuff movies and uh, and he even got to testify before uh, police um, Yeah, he got to testify before police and the video is still up on YouTube, which astonishes me to no end. Um, he talked about that a guy that was called the Colonel uh, used to make snuff movies. So now there's a second uh, important person that was Paul Bonacci in, at the police station. So the other person was Rusty Nelson. He is an, uh, is uh, older than Bonacci, and he was dragged into the Nebraska scandal because he was a photographer, and they wanted uh, they wanted him to make uh, movies, um, uh, sex movies and snuff movies, and uh, Rusty Nelson. Uh, had 250,000 photos or so with him when the police uh, and the FBI raided his home and he had um, still um, photos um, of very high politicians like George H.W. Bush uh, with little children uh, with, with at these uh, parties. So um, Lawrence King, who was the, the CEO of the credit union, he basically was Jeffrey Epstein before there was a Jeffrey Epstein. And um, there were three of these children who spoke out, who, who had the guts to speak out. One of them died of a drug overdose. One of them is um, the person who sits uh, the longest time in isolation in prison and the third one is Paul Bonacci I don't know what happened to Paul Bonacci maybe he's dead and the Franklin Union scandal was unbelievable and um, what, at, at a time when nobody w was so aware of the corruption in politics there happens this unbelievable 
um, unbelievable catastrophe. And what's also interesting uh, about the Colonel, that was the nickname of Hunter S. Thompson. Even Johnny Depp said that uh, he called him the Colonel. Um, so, and Rusty Nelson said that Hunter S. Thompson approached him and asked him for a hundred thousand dollars to make a snuff movie, and he declined. And that's just unbelievable. And he, Hunter S. Thompson, maybe he he knew too much or something, and they did away with him. Because um, he wrote a book, his late, his last book that he wrote was Hey Rube. And in the book he, he writes, uh, um, at the beginning of the football season, uh, gangs of organized perverts uh, abduct children to uh, give them as presents and, uh, to their friends as sex toys. That's what he wrote in his book, Hey Rube. And, yeah. I even watched the interview with his son, who was uh, in the living room when he, when he supposedly took his own life. But he said that they, they, heard, they just heard a thump, uh, like a book falling from a shelf. So... I I doubt that he shot himself with a 45 because that's so loud that I mean that's unbelievably loud and even if you even if he didn't have any silences so um, if he shot himself it would have been way louder so that's the story about the Franklin cover up Thanks for listening.